Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to create um, all the pages dynamically. Okay, great. So now you can see that, uh, of course, the Gutenberg styles are also coming, which I showed you in the previous videos to how to implement Gutenberg styles, how to ensure Gutenberg styles are supported. You can see this all WordPress styles are coming in for Gutenberg, which is great. You have the sample page. This page doesn't have an image, so let's add an image. So I'll go to that, put a featured image, update it, go back, refresh. Okay, there you go. So you have your featured image, you have your date, uh, author name, heading, content. All of that is coming from over here, this one. Okay, uh, just a few more things we need to do. Um, if you notice in the heading, we don't have the blog page, right? So we need to add that. So let's go to, let's close all of this for a moment and just close everything. And let's go to source components, layouts, header, index. So one way to, so basically we are always going to have a blog page, right? So after the dynamic menu, we could very well use this link. Uh, we don't need the key here. URL will be slash blog. And then link. This will be blog. Oh, it's going cure. We have to put that inside of this. Yeah, better. So now you can see you always have a blog page. If you click on that, it'll take you to the blog page where we'll have all the list of the um, posts. Uh, one thing, uh, another thing we need to update is the URL for this. So notice if you hover over it or even if you inspect element, I mean, in the corner, you can see the URL, but let's inspect it. We have the back end URL. We don't want that, right? We want to be ensuring that we have the front end URL for that. Okay. So remember that um, we had a function, we created a function which allows us to um, extract only this guy, which is the path name. So all we have to do is come over here where we are generating this menu dynamically under header index.js. Copy this and get path name from URL. So what we want to do is from that URL, we want to be able to extract the path name. So just pass that. And then if that is not available, then we just put slash so redirect the user to the home page okay now now if you check you can see that we have removed the root url and we only have the slash home living slash kids slash women so this would allow us to ensure that the user doesn't go to the back end url but just the front end one because we already generated this page right remember that uh, when we did this pages slug.js this ensures that at least the 10 pages it has in cache and the rest of this rest of the pages if the user let's say tries to access a slash women and that page is not in the cache at the time of build it was not generated as a cached page then it'll make a live uh, call to wordpress it'll generate that page and it's going to put that in the cache so uh, let's say it was available in the cache so now the user can click on women and that will take you to this slug.js and if it was available then it would have already created a cache version of that and now you can see you have that of course this doesn't have a featured image that's why you're seeing that um, i'm using a dummy image why because for consistency purposes i mean you could remove this dummy image in case if the image is not available but i want to ensure like if user is going to my page then he wants he needs to have image so make sure you upload the image or remove that condition or put the condition of not showing the dummy image. Okay. So if you go to 
all pages uh, you have something called women i'm just going to put a featured image there let's say this one i'm going to upload some dummy content amafi coast is my favorite because i've been there last year it's absolutely beautiful if you haven't been there then i suggest go to amafi coast it's amazing uh, it's in italy okay so where it go all right so you paste that there you update it and just refresh and you should be able to see the update there you go so you can see that you have the image you have the content and stuff okay of course you can enrich this page by adding more content but yeah you get the idea so you have to do the same for the footer menus also so do the same for footer menu so just copy this and go to footer index and then menu item menu url this is the one paste that there and then it should ensure that even the footer menus have yeah all good you can see on the left corner of the screen it's pretty tiny but yeah you can inspect it and see now it doesn't have the back end url it has the fronted one okay cool um of course for the widgets as you can see it still has the back end url but then you could use certain functions that are already available on this project to be able to ensure that the, it kind of um, replaces the back end url with the front end but, but of course uh, you have to make sure that these pages uh, are available and we don't really have the dates archive pages available yet so don't put anything that's not available uh, for the user experience okay so that means that we have all the pages available at least nine of them and rest of them will be on the fly cool so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, do start my repository to support my work my repository address is next year's woocommerce rest api thanks to the beautiful 201 people to support my work and uh, follow me on github follow me on twitter do give super thanks and and subscribe to the membership to, to get to get more perks all right so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye